Hi, my name is Javis. I'm 25 this year. I've been in the market for the past four years, specializing in three main markets, the high net worth market, the investment market, as well as millennials looking to buy their first home. I'm also the founder of JNA Real Estate and I'm really thankful that last year I managed to achieve the Youngest Millionaire Award as well as the Youngest Champion Team Manager Award. So why I decided to be part of this business, I actually kind of made the decision at the age of 21 after failing 9 startups from the age of 17. And fun fact, when I was in army, I was also doing a startup and it didn't go well at all. So at the age of 21, when I was, before I was entering into school, I was asking myself, in order for me to pay off my school loans, that was like $48,000 in total, it's either I work part-time every single month with $1,000 to earn every month, or I try out a self-employed, a sales job. So at the age of 21, I decided to try and have a taste of what real estate is like. And in the first month of my business, I still remember very fondly. I made zero in sales, <laughs> you know, similarly to what happened in 2020. And that first month, I was actually working very hard. So I was door knocking almost daily. During the weekends, I still remember I was at Wampo Market, going tables to tables just to find clients and asking them to buy a new launch then. That was 6 W Shire, which is fairly nearby. And I got zero, but thankfully, one month later, that was when I received the Platinum Award and that was also when I was the youngest at 21 to have received that ever award. And it was surreal, as surreal as this Millionaire Award as well. All I recall was that I worked really hard then. And currently, I'm still a student in Singapore Management University, studying both law as well as business management, majoring in real estate finance. Managing both school and work is definitely not easy. Still remember there were so many all-nighters that I have to pull in order to finish my exams as well as do some of the deals that I'm so passionate about. I decided to adopt that full-time mentality at the age of 22 when some of my associates first joined me and I never looked back ever since. So the real reason why I decided to stay on in this business is not solely because of the money, but because of my team at JNA Real Estate. That is my purpose and that personally I feel is my calling to reach out to millennials to be able to help them do well in life as well as business. And why did I get that inspiration? It was because frankly speaking, when I was the age of 18, I came from a top JC, but I did really badly for my A-levels. And at that very moment, I realized how lost millennials can be. And that day onwards, I was dejected, I was negative. It took me one year to recover, but I will never forget that moment where I felt so helpless. So that's the reason why I decided that, hey, since I'm doing well in real estate, since I'm able to find a step-by-step -step process to do well while putting your customers first in a sales business, why not help millennials? And thankfully, fast forward, now in the year 2020, we have a total of 74 brokers under the JNA Real Estate team, and I'm always so happy and so excited and inspired to meet all of my people in my team who's working hard for themselves as well as their family. To be able to achieve the Millionaire Award is something that is extremely surreal. I'm really thankful and humbled by all the mentorships that I'm able to get to be able to achieve this very award. I did set my eyes to get this when I first entered the industry at the age of 21 and never did I expect to achieve it at 25. The journey was crazy, right? Because last year in the year 2020 was when COVID-19 happened and there was also a lockdown that was happening in the market. The real estate market uh, also did take a pause for a while because show flats were closed and viewings were not allowed. But we we're really thankful that our whole team at JNA Real Estate decided to pivot into home tours, virtual viewings and also doing transactions online so that we are able to facilitate our sellers in selling the property and buyers in investing in their very first home. And I think with the accumulation of the transactions that I have done last year because of all of these clients that we managed to touch, that's the reason why I managed to achieve my Millionaire Award. In the year 2020, I've closed and transacted almost $80 million in transaction volume and close to 40 transactions. And most of them are from the high net worth market as well as the investments market. And I still record last year, uh, it was really crazy because the first three months, uh, I made zero in terms of sales commission. And the next nine months, I actually managed to pull through, work really hard. I think I've gotten a total of uh, five platinum awards as well as three super platinum awards to be able to achieve uh, the Millionaire Award uh, in the year 2020. It was a tough journey, it wasn't easy, but I'm really thankful that I had a lot of people who were standing by me, giving me the guidance, the support, both in Propnex as well in, in my personal life, who's pushing me to achieve that award by the end of 2020. For those who are watching this, I only have one thing for you, and that is do first and think later. You see, the market is evolving rapidly every single day and you have to adapt. If not, you will not stay relevant. 
if you're afraid to do a video, you just gotta press the record button, do umpteen times, fail umpteen times, because you know what? There's never a perfect content, right? Just document your process. Don't focus on curating that perfect content for yourself because that's gonna waste you a lot of time. If you want to be a millionaire, remember this. I am 25 when I received my millionaire award. I believe that you can do it. I have confidence that you can do it. You are never too young to achieve massive success and it's never too late to leave a legacy.